and today is something quite unique it's the Playtime Mask cassette player yes so uh, this was the big haul um, mask pickup that I had a few months back where I was sorting the guys toys out in the back of the car blah 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 all good fun and this is one of the really really awesomely cool items I uh, got from the pickup mask and look it's actually got this vinyl kind of like um like indented it sticks out look there we go the volume none of that's cleanable by the way it seems to be like burnt into the plastic stop eject the bottom the sides for extra AV extra DC all right so you can actually put a um PC yeah a power adapter sorry PC and it's quite dusty um it's like got nothing to it really um 1986 Playtime Products Inc. And a bit that's blacked off. And battery compartment. So it's not much to look at. I got the mask like cassette at the top. And um, so it looks cool, but does it work? So let's see what we can do. So, first of all, we uh, the battery compartment and we see it needs a shit ton of batteries. But luckily, I popped out to my local home bargains and bought some in preparation. So, um, please stand by while I open the batteries. Shouldn't take me too long. It's one packet open. So let's have a look. It's always important that you push that bit down. They've always been quite fiddly because you're supposed to like put it so you can pull the cord when all the batteries are in. Alright, so let's... Hmm... Let's if we push it. <laughs> and I'm having fun already. Right. So do I put that one in? And um, then put this one in? To... Oh, I see. So angle it. And hopefully, we hope that isn't cutting off the power for them to connect together in the middle. Right, let's open the other batteries. And this one, as I keep knocking the camera, should be quite a bit easier. That one there, and that one there. Alright. So, how do we turn it on? Stop the jack. Oh, it's a button. Hmm, no idea if it actually works. So let's find out. Let's force a find if I put the batteries in. We bring in our friend from a few months back, well last month, the Tempo gift box. So, we grab the cassette out. And even though it kind of looks like a torch, we put it in there. Ooh, clay. That's a jet. How do we play it though? So, down one. Fast forward. Right, well, I'm back after about 15 to 20 minutes poxy fiddling with the batteries to make sure they're in properly. But here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? It worked! Rise call and learn what's going on, continued Hawks as he walked towards a solid wall. Look at that. It works! So this thing which is like 700 years old. See you guys later. Hawks cheerfully waved as he walked through the meter thick wall. <laughs> as he emerged on the outside. That is pretty cool. I can just imagine that being on my, my bedside, putting that on as I'm playing with my mask, probably playing with the toys along with it. Hawks decided as he moved closer to the blue venom plane. This device switch allows me. me to control all the mask vehicles. Mayhem was saying into his microphone, unaware that mask eyes were watching him. They can't stay inside forever, and when they <laughs> come out, awesome. we'll be waiting for them. Having heard everything he needed to hear, Hawk 
this is courtesy of this. So we'll pop that Once there in the background because it's having a starring moment. Once explained what he had seen and heard. Any chance that you can build something to stop mayhem? Matt asked Sato. I should be able to build a jammer oh to dear. jam or stop his signals to our machine, yes. Sato. Yes, kind of sounds like Zark Good. from Battle of the Planets. In the control um, room, but this was a very different time, <laughs> and it's probably just the one guy doing all the voices. But I am well chuffed that it worked, because the guy actually said that he tested it and he wasn't too sure he couldn't figure it out. But I tell you what, it's just the batteries, they're really fiddly. You have to make sure they're right in the right place. And I know you guys right now are just saying, shut up, I want to listen to Mask. <laughs> Sato. Here it is, uh, he said proudly, as he showed that it to his fellow awesome. agents. Well, let's give it a try, mm. suggested Matt. So we have play, and we tap it down. And fast forward. On his armband. With incredible noise and firepower. Having lost the chance of surprise. So right. Oh, it's still got some things to the volume, that's for sure. Decided to be devious. Lowering the switchblade above the important flood locks on the tunnel. That's one thing I don't get. Why do they have always called the vehicles the switchblade? The Thunderhawk. You know, it's just switchblade or Thunderbolt. Thunderhawk or Rhino, not the Rhino. That had just been created by Mayhem's rocket. The tunnel called Matt. We must save the tunnel, even if it means really doesn't sound like Matt. Just as I planned, commented May. <laughs> Very evil and conniving voice. And blasted away from the disaster scene. Pull out! He radioed to his aides. Through his vid screen, he could see racks and daggers speeding away to safety. Productions 1985. Hawk, the Gator called Matt to the mask agent. Way ahead of you. I'm sorry, guys, but otherwise, I'd allow this whole tape play and the video would take forever. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really chuffed that the tape player still actually works. So I can probably put this on in the background as I'm editing my video or something. But there we have it. We have the mask um, tape player. It's pretty cool. And for all purposes of um, playing cassettes, this will be working over time.